Hi, Manny Gogo of Loveless here again. Hope everyone is doing well. Just sanitizing my hands, fixing the moustache here at Elwood Beach as I sit down and chow into my uh, homemade spano copita made from a certain, made by a certain someone, I should say. It's like a secret, mate. Okay, check this out. Smashed it. Where's the front of it? Oh, this is a whole one. Oh, good news. Hope everyone is doing well. We are approaching that time of the year again. Greek star. Never heard that term before, though. But uh, during a text from Mr. Jim Katsukis asking him before I to catch up because I'm fucking, I like I'm flat out with a Greek star. Cheers. The mint of the beam. So I thought I'll do a fucking Greek Easter special, mad time of the year. Whether you're religious or not, it's undeniable the vibes. When I was younger, I used to go Easter week every night. Fuck, this is mad though. But I remember what I used to love about it when I used to um, fast in the steel. I made my mates at Ayo Vasili there in Brunswick, Staley Street. Shout out to everyone at Ayo Vasili and Pater Thanasi there. You rock, Pater. The best. We used to wait until the Anastasia, having fasted for a whole fucking week, basically on a vegan diet, come midnight. Christos Anesti Eknechro Thanatu Thanatu After that, we'd rush over to Alasia and get a fucking massive doner kebab. Four bucks twenty. Pardon my luck. It was worth fasting all that week to get that fucking doner kebab at 12.17 a.m. on a Sunday morning. So good I think the Turks there as well, and you were coming from. You know, the cut of the so good to them. All right, there, Alasia rock. But that moment, the Anastasia, the resurrection, midnight, when the lights go out and everything goes quiet, and then the chanting begins. It's magical, then. It's absolutely magical. It's undeniable, the vibe, like I said before. Whether you're religious or not, it doesn't matter. The collective energy of the people there creates this fucking religious experience. Now, some might say it's the power of God working through the people. I'm not you to deny that one way or another. I have my own thoughts about religion and the existence of God. This is not what this is about. I'm talking about the collective power of the people and the theater of it and the feeling that you get when you're standing there and everything goes quiet and then the chanting begins, Christ is risen. Greek stuff fucking rocks, eh? Friday nights, the procession of the... Uh, the Jesus tomb. I always fucking love that, man. Easter week. How all these Greek Orthodox churches around Victoria, and I'm assuming in other parts of Australia as well, they block off the fucking road. And go, can't come past. Greek Easter, fucking go around. And then, yes, Friday night, procession. to take over the surrounding blocks. And we fucking walk around like a gang. You know? This is Greek Easter, eh? Come out of your house and fucking pay attention. Especially Anglos and uh, hipsters who have since moved into the area. Come out in their in their hipster tracksuit pants and runners and their knitted jumpers that they wear with their fucking bowl haircuts. And they go, oh, 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 that's amazing. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at that. Oh. Anyway, like a, <coughs> it's Greek Easter. When I was living in New York a few years ago, during Greek Easter it was. The person I was living with at the time was out of the out of the country. And a few other mates who weren't around. So I found myself on the other side of the world, New York, I was living in Astoria. I was feeling lonely at home. Not one to, I hadn't been to church for years. So I'd be like, nah, I'm not going. This particular night, feeling lonely and like disconnected. I looked up where the local Greek Orthodox Church was there in Astoria. And it was a good Friday, Mikhail Paraskevi. And I went to the Epitaphio. I went by myself, I just walked around. And you know what? I could have been at Ayo Vasilia, I could have been 
at Ayodhya could have been Ay Lefteri, Ayani, any of these churches and would have felt the same. They felt exactly the same. The vibe was exactly the same. And I'm like, I walked into a fucking Greek Orthodox church in Chinatown there in New York. And again, I could have been in Brunswick somewhere. Outside was New York, Chinatown. But once I walked through those fucking front doors of that church, it could have been anywhere. There's a question with regards to Hellenism and how connected it is to religion and whether it's possible to be Hellenic and not be connected to the, uh, the Greek Orthodox uh, religions and traditions, culture. What's undeniable there is that when Easter comes around, you feel it now. Obviously, I'm not fasting because I'm a fucking heretic. To all of you who are fasting, who observe, who are religious, who feel this time of year, and to all us Greeks, and to those non-Greeks but who are interested and who are participating or who are fascinated by it, who are just interested, I feel you, I get it, I welcome you. I hope that you and your loved ones are healthy and happy and safe and to those who had have suffered during the last couple of years with this fucking COVID malakia uh, my heart goes out to you but I hope you feel a sense of uh, closeness and, and oneness and uh, the connection to a bigger tribe and understand that you are part of a bigger tribe and the village which is Elinismos that surrounds that tribe is always going to be there. So, much love to you all. I'm going to finish this fucking Spanakopita and then just sit here and fucking contemplate. What am I like? No, fuck. I'm going to get it right today. That key change always fucking gets me in the feels. Another guy. Hey! Also, a quick shout out to my ma. Ma, I still remember that time you made me drink a tablespoon of vinegar because Jesus had to. Let's go. Yes. Feel it.